Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a program to print the prime numbers. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a prime number. A number which is divisible by 1 and itself is called a prime number. It should not be divisible by other numbers. Now let me discuss with a simple example. Let's take the value 7. 7 if I divide by 1, I will get the remainder as 0. If I divide with 2, I will get the remainder as 1. If I divide by with 3, I will get the remainder as 1. If I divide with 4, I will get the remainder as 3. If I divide with 5, I will get the remainder as 2. If I divide with 6, I will get the remainder as 1. If I divide with 7, I will get the remainder as 0. Now, when I can say the number is successfully divisible by another number, if it is remainder is 0, then I will say that it is successfully divisible by that number. Now, look at here. The remainder is 0 in only two cases. So, the number 7 is successfully divisible by 1 and 7. So, it is successfully divisible by 1 and itself. It is not successfully divisible by other numbers. So, I can say that 7 is a prime number. So, I hope you have understood. Now, let me take another example. 8. 8 is, if I divide by 1, I will get the remainder as 0. If I divide with 2 also, I will get remainder as 0. So, 8 is successfully divisible by 2 also. So, I can say that 8 is not a prime number. So, with these two examples, you would have understood whether a given number is prime number or not. Now with this background, now let me write a program to print the prime numbers. What actually I want to do is that I will take the input from the user. Suppose the n user has entered the n value is 100. I want to print the prime numbers from 2 to 100. If user has entered 50, from 2 to 50, what are the prime numbers are there? All those prime numbers I want to display as an output. Why I am not considering the 1? 1 is not a prime number. Okay, from 2, we will have the prime numbers. So, with this knowledge, what I will do is that I will take a variable n and I will ask the user to enter the value. So, to read any value from the user, we will have a function called input. And this function will return everything in the form of string. But I want here it as a integer value. So, I will do the type casting. I will write int. Okay. Then, I will write a for loop for i in range 2 to n plus 1. Remember one thing. Range will have three parameters. One is the start. Another one is the stop. Another one is the stop value. By default, the start value will be 0, the step value will be 1. Suppose let's take that stop value I have provided as 5. Then if I am printing all the i values, then what will be the output is it will print 0, it will print 1, it will print 2, it will print 3 and it will print 4. Why it will print the values from 0 to 4 is I will discuss now. As the start value we have provided as 0, it will start printing from 0. After printing 0, what is the step value we have provided by default is 1. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 is less than 5. Yes, the condition is true. So, 1 will be printed. After printing 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is still less than 5. So, 2 will be printed. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is still less than 5. So, it will also be printed. Then 3 plus 1 is next 4. 4 is less than 5. So, it will print 4. Then 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is not less than 5. 5 is equal to 5. So, 5 will not be printed as an output. For your better understanding, let me take another example. I have taken the start value is 1 and step value is 3. Then what will be the output you guess? First 1 will be printed. Then 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 is less than 5. 3 will be printed as an output. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is not less than 5. It will stop printing it. So, what is my point here is that if you provide the n value here, it will go up to n minus 1. 
but here I want to print the values from means the prime numbers from 2 to n so that's why I have provided the stop as n plus 1 if I provide n here it will stop up to n minus 1 but I want to verify that n is also a prime number or not if it is prime number I want to display and if you observe it we does not provide the step value here so by default the step value will be 1 okay now look at here the i will start taking the values from 2 and it will go up to n and every i value i want to verify whether it is a prime number or not if it is a prime number i will ignore it if it is okay if it is a prime number i want to display if it is not a prime number i will ignore it so what i will do is that to verify all the i values are prime number or not so what i will do is that i will take another loop okay for j in look at here the indentation is started the indentation is very important so this is an outer for loop this is an inner for loop we already discussed about the nested loops so for j in a range i hope it is visible let me write it again a range 2 to okay i is it clear then what I have to do is that if i modulus j is equal to is equal to 0 then I will break else this else will start freer because we already discussed about the for else else print i look at here what will happen so why I am writing let me take a simple example let me take the i value as 7 okay then what will happen for j in a range 2 to 7 so it will go from 2 to 6 because when i provide the value 7 here it will go up to 6 so j value initially 2 so it will verify 7 modulus 2 is equal to 0 it is not equal to 0 so this if condition will not be satisfied then j value will be incremented j value will become 3 3 is less than 7 so it will continue 7 modulus 3 because i modulus j we have written i value is 7 and j value is 3 7 modulus 3 is equal to 1 but it is not equal to 0 here i have written is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 i am saying that break so come out from the inner loop but this condition is false so again it will go to the inner loop see it will not go to the else this is not the if else i am writing i am writing for else okay if you have any doubts about the for else please refer my earlier video now look at here then j value will be incremented j value will become 4 7 modulus 4 will be equal to 3 3 is not equal to 0 again this condition is failed so j value will be incremented so j value will become 5 okay j value will become 5 7 modulus 5 is equal to 2 2 is not equal to 0 so again this break will not be executed j value will be incremented now j value will become 6 7 modulus 6 is 1 1 is not equal to 0 so it will not execute the break is it clear so what i can say that uh, once it is done once this is done it will come to the else block because up to 2 to 6 it has to go so it has gone from 2 to 6 now from 2 to 6 the 7 if i divide it is not equal to 0 so it will come to the else block and it will print the value 7 now 7 is a one of the prime number now similarly let me take the i value is equal to 8 in this case what will happen you verify j value will start from 2 and it will go up to 7 because i value is 8 so it will 2 comma 8 but we know that it will go up to 7 only is it clear now j is equal to 2 look at here 8 modulus 2 because i modulus 2 8 modulus 2 is equal to 0 0 is equal to 0 this condition is true so break if you go for the break it will come out from the inner loop and the i value will be incremented because once you come out from the loop the meaning is that the corresponding i value which is 8 here 8 is not a prime number if it is not a prime number 
I just need to ignore it. I don't want to display. I want to display only prime numbers. So this program will print all the prime numbers starting from 2 to n. Now is it an efficient program? This is not an efficient program. Let me modify and write the efficient program for you. Those who have already written the C program or a Python program to verify a given number is prime number or not, they can simply say that this is not an efficient program. This program will give you the output, but this is not an efficient program. This will be an efficient program. Why? Any number, if it is a prime number or not, we will not go up to that number. If it is not divisible by the 2, suppose let's take that if I take 8, if it is not divisible, 8 is not divisible up to 4, meaning is that by 2 it is not equal to 0. Just for example, I am telling, if it is not divisible by 3, if it is not divisible by 4, then I can say that it will not be divisible by other numbers also. So I can say that it is a prime number, just as 8 is not a prime number, just I am taking as an example, okay, are you able to understand it or not. So this is an efficient program. Now let me execute this program in the Jupyter Notebook for better understanding. Let me take a variable called n and I want to read the input from the user. If I want to read the input from the user, I will use the input function. So I will write a statement called enter value. Now you know that input function will return everything in the form of string but however I want to convert the value into an integer so I am doing the type casting. Now once I got the n value I will start the writing the loops for i in range 2 comma n plus 1. So I want to print all the prime numbers from 2 to n. Okay, what are the prime numbers are there? Now I will write the inner loop for j in range 2 comma i integer division 2 plus 1. Okay, now I will write the if condition. If i modulus j is equal to is equal to 0 i need to break it. else this else belongs to for so it is for else else i need to print the i value now let me run the code for better understanding let me take the value as 7 so i want to print all the prime numbers up to 7 look at here what will be the output 2 3 5 7 let me run the code again. This time let me give the value as 11. So I want to print all the prime numbers up to 11. See I got 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. All these are the prime numbers. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.